What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is BK and as you probably have seen, today is finally the day. That's right. We have right before our very eyes an entire booster box of Chilling Rain, the newest set in the Pokemon TCG. That is right. Couldn't be more excited. It's June 15th. Release day is June 18th. But hey, three days early is better than no days early. And I absolutely cannot wait to get into this box. Before we do, please do smash that like button if you enjoy the content. Ton of great openings lately. We had some build and battle chilling rain, EV heroes, evolutions. It's been awesome. And please do consider subscribing to the channel so you can keep up with everything going on here on BK Pokemon cards. And it does go quite a long way. It is much appreciated. But without further ado, you and I both know what time it is and what is at stake. There are so many absolutely incredible cards that we could pull from Chilling Rain. I will go over some of my favorite, favorite cards that will be my chase cards in this video and many more videos to come. And we will get straight into it. Look at that beautiful brand new booster box just like we were in the store first things first we've got an ice rider calyrex pack so a lot of people's chase card and one of my chase cards for sure is going to be well i guess technically it would be two of my chase cards is going to be the alternate art of the v max of both Shadow and Ice Rider. So both have a regular VMAX. If you don't know what that looks like, um, I'll tell you if we pull it um, or show you at some point, but both Shadow and Ice Rider have a regular VMAX. And I will be going for the alternate art of either one of those VMAX cards. So there's an alternate art for the VMAX there's alternate art for all of the birds. Zapdos, Moltres, Articuno. And you already know what it is. There is that beautiful golden Snorlax card that we are going to be trying so, so hard to pull. Golden Snorlax. It was a card that I actually really wanted in Matchless Fighters whenever I kept getting gold stinking fighting energy or whatever it was oh my gosh i could not get away from gold fighting energy in matchless fighters so golden snorlax I, probably my top chase card there's also an alternate art blaziken v max that is crazy would love to pull that and we have our first hollow it is a zarude for the very first hollow Either way, absolutely can't wait. Most people's number one is going to be the alternate art of that Mole Trace. is absolutely stunning. It's a beautiful card. So, so, so cool. Um, so, yeah, that would be uh, most people's probably chase card. And I do want that card. But I think that I'm leaning towards the, the Zapdos alternate art a little more then I would be leaning towards the Moltres. I love the Zapdos. He's like fighting an electric instead of just electric. So he's kind of like a road runner. And in his alternate art, he's like running up the side of like a mountain or a cliff. And it's just like, <laughs> it's really cool. Hopefully, hopefully we can pull that card and display it. A lot of really cool rainbow rares. Um, so there is a ton and I mean a ton of pulls that we could get. I'm hoping to get one of those boxes that has an alternate art, a full art, a rainbow rare, and is just absolutely loaded. That would be best case scenario. But I also want to enjoy Fru-Fru. Fru-Fru. I want to enjoy the set, enjoy the artwork. I think that it really is going to be a lot of people's favorite set of this year. There's a Volcarona and we have a Volcanian V. 
as one of our first V pulls. Truly, truly, yours truly, not the biggest, if really at all, a fan of Volcanion. That is okay. Um, also, these code cards probably will not work until Friday. Um, I don't know what day I'm going to get this video up. Today is Tuesday. Like I said, it is only the 15th. So this is technically still an early opening. Shouts to me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Shouts to Collector's Cash for getting my pre-order here super early. Really, really pumped about that. Um, but yeah, so this is technically an early opening, so the code cards probably won't work until Friday. Um, the 18th, the actual release day for this set. But so far, it has been pretty, pretty slow. Let's go Psychic and it's Metal. Would love to know your thoughts. What have you seen so far? Do you think this is gonna be a really awesome set? Are you excited about it? Are you not? Let me know in the comments down below so we can talk about what we think. Ooh, nice. That's a nice Ampharos. I like that a lot. What we think of this brand new set. What, you know, let's talk favorite cards. Let's talk, let's talk chase cards, best pulls, what we're looking for, what you want to see. I've seen, I don't know, I've seen at least six or seven openings um, of the big dogs, Lee and Hart, Unlisted, Leave, um, Neon Cactus, opening up some early booster boxes, and I have seen nobody pull any of my chase cards. Um, I guess Uncle Ando did pull an Articuno, but of the birds, that's probably my third favorite bird. Volcarona makes his double down appearance already. Yeah, so I think that I think it's going to be difficult. Like I think I think as we hit like our fourth green code card here in a row, I think it's I think that the pull rate is going to be difficult. It is a big set, but the hits, there's a lot of hits and and most of them hit very very hard. I think a lot of people seriously have forgotten about the alternate art um, Blaziken VMAX. So pulling that would be th that cool really would be that cool, just because I think that it's super slept on. I don't really think anyone's talking about it. I love Blaziken, so Blaziken gets me pumped up. Personally, I uh, really like that one. There's a full art Blaziken, there's the there's the VMAX regular, there's the VMAX, 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 there's the VMAX alternate art. Um, so there's actually a lot of Blaziken love in this set, and I do believe that a lot of people have forgotten about the shiny, gold electrode as well, where he's blue and white instead of the classic red and white. So there are a lot of really, really cool cards. A lot of really cool pulls. I'm just pumped to already have it. I'm pumped to be opening it. I'm pumped to see what we can get out of this set. Kind of give the, the pull rates a little bit of a test. Um, I saw a graphic. There's always a graphic. I saw a graphic talking about the pull rates and it being um, fairly difficult, but they're not really being any chase card that is as difficult to pull as like a Vivid Voltage Rainbow Pikachu where it takes thousands of packs or even really a Hidden Fates Charizard where it takes hundreds and hundreds of packs. And we have pulled a full art Caitlyn, which is not by any means, one of my chase cards. I do, I like the trainer cards. It's just not one of my chase cards, but I do know that this is gonna be a very sought after full art trainer card just by default. So very, very cool. Not bad, not too shabby. Never upset to pull um, a rare card that I haven't pulled before. Get to display it here on the channel. I, you know, I'm never, I'm a collector and I'm, I don't really play the game. So I'm never really hunting down the trainer cards. I appreciate them. Um, and I do think they're cool, but I, I'm never really, you know, like, oh my gosh, I've got to pull blah. Unless it was like OGs, unless we were pulling like Misty and Brock, then I'll be like, let's get some trainers. But eh, Caitlyn, the Skylas, all those are, you know, cool. Not a chase card for me, which is okay. Everybody has 
their preferences and what they are looking for in each and every set. But we really have two pulls, and it's Caitlin and Volcanian, but it's Caitlin Full Art. So it's not a secret rare or a hyper rare. So we should still be set to get an alternate art, a rainbow rare, maybe even another full art, but I would much rather have an alternate art or, ooh, an alternate art. VMAX, rainbow rare, gold card. We could still get all the secret rares because that full art trainer is not gonna count as a secret rare which is cool. That's why it's great to have a good pull like that, even if it's not your chase card, and still be able to go after, I love this one. <laughs> Air cross working out with Weedle doing chin ups on the tree. We've got a Snover and Tornadus V, dope. That's a cool one. V card Tornadus is another Pokemon. Oh my gosh, and I'm forgetting another really cool one. There's so many pulls in this set. There really are. Tornadus has an alternate art that is very dope. It's almost like he's like picking on all these Pokemon like around a tree and stuff. It honestly kind of reminds me of like a scene out of Kirby. I know that's kind of random, but that's what his alternate art reminds me of. And then there's the Zero Aura alternate art, which may be another like very highly sought after chase card for a lot of people but we'll see it's a little early to be able to tell but we will absolutely see soon enough what people's chase cards are and what they aren't we have a holographic creepy creepy looking like in rock that's okay we're sitting we're sitting three pulls deep not um, including holographics which is really not bad, we're not doing bad. I do feel like there's been quite a bit of green code cards, but really not doing bad. Let's see, we've got energy. I need to do a couple guess the energies because I always forget. Celio, what's the deal, baby? Venipede, we've got Snover punching us. Slowpoke with his tail in the water. There's Blitzel and Doug Trio, so we have a total of three more packs on the first half of this booster box. And what can we do? What can we do? One, two, three, and four. Let's go grass. Nope. All right, Echoing Horn. Avery, Yan Mask, Snow Run, Bound Sweet, Kung Fu, Inke, Porygon, and the Zeb. Strike. I do think that my favorite regular holo that I've seen in this set is probably the Porygon Z, which is Porygon's third stage. Porygon Z is really cool to me. Uh, I like Porygon 2, but obviously Porygon Z is the holo. Um, let's go fire. Oh, water. And let's go the boots. We've got a scroll, Curlia, Squovit. Crab Rawler, the Grook, Score Bunny, Aaron, Caitlin, and can we get a Tapu Feeny holographic? Yes. Yes, we can. If that was your question going into that pack, we absolutely can get a Tapu Feeny. And this is the last pack on the first half of this booster box. Let's go metal. Oh, yes, sir. It's like when I play the Guess the Energy game, I kill it, but I just always forget to play. Okay, Lapras, very cool artwork. He's with, no, that's not Kaylin. He's with Peony or Melanie or whoever, I can't remember. Slowpoke, Coughing, Malamar, and we have a... Shadow Rider VMAX. Okay, awesome. There is the first Shadow Rider VMAX pull that I have in Chilling Rain. And this is an example of the regular VMAX. The alternate art VMAX would obviously be alternate art than this. So this is the regular VMAX for Shadow Rider. Very, very nice card. And honestly, it's a great pull. I've been seeing a lot of people struggle to pull 
the two mascots in VMAX form. Both the Ice Rider and the Shadow Rider. I've just I've just been seeing it be kind of a struggle. Like more difficult to pull them than you would think that a regular VMAX would be. And so it leads me to kind of think that they're trying to make VMAX cards a little bit more rare um, than, oh, I need some of this water. Trying to, I think they're trying to make the VMAX cards like a little bit more rare than they have been, than like how they've felt in the past. And I could totally be wrong about that. And it's just how these earlier products have been. And then next thing you know, everybody's getting a VMAX, but ooh, nice. Reverse Rare Thunderous, very cool. And we have successfully built up two really big stacks of Chilling Rain Bolt there to the side. And let's see what we can do here. Three and four. I'm going to guess fire. And, oh, and I'm going to get it right again. Let's go with the fire energy, reboot, quillfish, Ralts, Heracross, Cast Form, Sunny Form, Sfeel, Crushing Gloves, and oh my goodness, what is this gonna be? It is a Rainbow Rare Metagross VMAX. Not too bad at all. My first Rainbow Rare pull of Chilling Rain, and it is Metagross. VMAX 208 out of 198. This is a massive, massive set of Pokemon cards to say the least. Rainbow Rares are some of my absolute favorites. So there you have it. We've got a Rainbow Rare. We've got a regular VMAX. We've got a full art. I believe best case scenario, we're probably hunting an alternate art, not VMAX, like a regular alternate art, which is great, or a gold card in the rest of the box, but I have no idea. We've pulled quite a bit so far. This has been um, very generous pull rates, I would say, because we've got hollows, we've got uh, ultra rares, a couple of VMAX, a little rainbow rare action on the Metagross, which is awesome. A lot of people love Metagross. I like, I like Metagross. Like, I don't love, I mean, it's not my favorite by any means. Rainbow Rare Celebi, I would have started crying. That would be really cool. Uh, full Art Celebi would be really cool. And let's go Water. Oh my, it's like, because I guess it, I get it right. Every time I remember to play the Guess the Energy game, baby, I'm on fire. Don't count me out. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. We got Weedle, Cast Form, Clobopus, and... Agron, not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. And yeah, I'm thinking alternate art. I'm thinking that, I'm thinking it's looking good with the pulls we've gotten so far to hope for an alternate art. I don't know about a gold card, but who knows? It could always, always spring itself on us out of absolute nowhere. So we will see. We've got Crab Roller, Galette, okay, they're sticking together. Porygon, Caitlyn again, and Sev Viper. Sev Viper, here is our Articuno. Definitely, we'll pull another V. Um, if we could pull an alternate art, that would be ridiculous. Gold card, I'm trying to think. Have I pulled a Rainbow Rare and a Gold card in the same box? Let's go Psychic. Dark. Have I pulled a rainbow rare and a gold card in the same box? I've definitely pulled, eh, I don't think so. I don't know, maybe I have. Who knows, we'll see. All we can do is continue onward. We've got Reboot and Zerud for the second time. We've now doubled up on holographic regular old Zerud, but that's okay. I think Zerud's cool. Um, I think my favorite uh, form of him is definitely the full art Zerud in uh, Vivid Voltage. I really, like I actually wanted that card. It wasn't just like, oh, cool. Like I really, I really like that Zerud card. So the full art from Vivid Voltage, probably the best. Fru-Fru, uh, and we have 
Blissey V. So there's another ultra rare, which I predicted we would definitely pull. And uh, man, I just, I think a gold, I think another ultra rare and a gold card or another ultra rare and an alternate art would top this box off. I think we would be sitting pretty. Let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna guess fighting and it's lightning, whatever. And here we go. Comment down below, let me know what your favorite pull is so far. Do you like these cards? Do you like the artwork? Is this set exciting to you? Or are you kind of indifferent, maybe on the fence about it? Oh my gosh, we have an alternate art and I think that I know what it is. I think that I know what it is and I might lose it. Please, 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 it's not. It's not, I was wrong. <laughs> It's a full art, but it's still cool. Okay, full art, Lipar. This color at the bottom threw me off. I thought it was an alternate art, Zara Aura. And I was like, oh my gosh, if we pull an alternate art. But it's a full art, it's Lipar. Very cool. I like full art cards a lot. And I was thinking that we would probably have a full art at least in this box. Now, in Japanese sets, okay, hear me here. In Japanese sets, a full art is a secret rare. In English sets, a full art is not a secret rare. So technically, we have a hyper rare right there with our um, rainbow rare, but technically we could still, with all of these really, really good pulls so far, we could still grab ourselves a secret rare, like an alternate art or a gold card. I really do think it's possible. We've probably got, I don't know, 10 packs left. And we, have, I mean, this has already been an awesome booster box. So by no means am I complaining or am I upset about these pulls at all. It's been really, really cool. I think it's a great um, psychic energy. Nope. I think it's a great booster box like to start out, especially for this set to get to kind of show it off, see how the pull rates are, see some of the, the pulls and the artwork and everything. So I'm not complaining at all. I'm just saying, I think we might could still pull something crazy. And there is an ultra rare of our big and bad fighting type Zapdos. Ultra rare for you. We'll put them over there. And let's see what we can do. The, I think the pull rate's been great. I have zero complaints about this pull rate at all. And yeah, I'll just go ahead and show you that it's white and green because let's go. Let's go, baby. All right, one, two, three, and four. Gotta calm down. Psychic energy, it's fighting. And let's continue onward and try not to get ahead of ourselves. Been really good pulls. Like I said, I'm not being selfish at all. But I do think we could still strike gold. <laughs> See what I did there? We've got Rockruff and Cresselia Holographic. Not a bad pull at all. And we are sitting on about seven more packs. So let's say two more, two more white and green. I'll guess two more white and green out of seven. Because this has been a decently heavy uh, side of the box with with pulls. All right, we've got a Dyna Tree Hill. We've got gloves, Lucky, Ladybug, Porygon, Swirlix, the Sneeze, Snover, some more gloves, and Wheezing. There are quite a bit of gloves. <laughs> there are quite a bit of different pairs of gloves in this set, and I just think it's funny. There's weeding gloves and crushing gloves and I, some other glove, I think justified gloves maybe? Did I say, did I open some some justified gloves? There's a lot of gloves, which is cool, funny, I don't know, whatever you wanna say. Ralts, we've got cast form, Hatena, and Spiritomb. All right, down to the final five. Final five packs, it has been littered with green. Like I kind of thought, I, what did I say, maybe two more pulls? Maybe two more pulls. Once again, it's been awesome, so can't complain at all. Great pull rate, not upset one bit. I wanna say that I think 
that this pull rate based off one booster box, so that could obviously be apt to change, is better than battle styles for sure. Um, the battle styles pull rate was tough and I was a big battle styles fan, still am. I really like the set, I'm not trying to dog it at all, but um, it, was, it was pretty rough. It was pretty rough, especially towards the end where I had opened hundreds of packs and I was just trying for my secret rare and it was not, <laughs> and I mean not possible. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely impossible to pull. We've got Quillfish, Slowpoke, Fire Resistant Gloves, and the coolest Kecleon card that you will ever see. And we are down to three packs remaining of these last seven. Like I said, we have had four green code cards and this may change things. Psychic, ooh, it's dark. What can we get? Can we get a gold or an alternate art for our very first chilling rain booster box? Bound Sweet, we've got Fru Fru, Sobble, and the pool is Nada. It's a holographic Rune Regis. That's okay. That is O. Okay, A-okay, A-okay. We've been having a ton of fun, and we have another green and white code card to finish off the back half of this booster box. Let's go lightning, and it is grass or leaf or whatever you want to call it. Thwacky Baby, Echoing Horn, we've got Bound Sweet, Cub Fu, Inke, Diglett, Score Bunny, Sneasel, and Galarian Slow King V. So we were due one more ultra rare, which is not bad, not bad at all. And let's hit this last pack, magic or not, it's green, that's okay. Let's see what we got. Green is basically a nail in the coffin. Surfluff and Obama Snow. All right, let's hit a recap. All right, for the recap, we are gonna start off strong with a rainbow, rare, hyper rare Metagross VMAX. Very, very cool. I love, I, I just love rainbow rare cards. We pulled full art Caitlyn, which I really think is gonna be a popular popular card from Chilling Rain. So there is Caitlyn. There is a beautiful full art Lipard card. Super, super sick. Yes, we did pull the VMAX Calyrex Shadow Rider, which is so dope. What else do we have? We've got Zapdos V. We have Tornadus V, almost said Thunderous. We have Slow King V. We have Blissey V, and we have Volcanian V. Guys, if you enjoy, please do leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing to the channel. It goes such a long way and is much appreciated. Your support helps me continue on, get pumped up, and you know what? This is just the first Chilling Rain booster box. Gonna be a ton more. We got none of my chase cards, so a lot to come, and as always, I will catch you in the next video very soon.